Hey guys, should just here, welcome back to a brand new Gears of War PC and mod showcase video. As you can see today, we're playing a pretty old mod, I believe this came out in about 2008-2009. As you can see, starting off with that awesome intro, obviously this is community made, so it's going to have a limit, but obviously I'm enjoying the single player modded content. It's basically free DLC made by the community, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this type of video. This is actually called, I believe, Underground, and we're going into a regenerator facility, and we need to take it back from the Locust. This guy, uh, this, this is this is a different player. He he attempted the mission, but couldn't reach the objective, I'm afraid. So I believe the Locust have taken over a regenerator facility, and we need to turn the regenerators back on and defeat the Locust Horde at the same time. So let's go into the depths. Of this territory. Find the fusion reactor core on this level. Okay, game, no worries. So, we're, we're, should we switch out the lancer? Yeah, we're gonna switch out the lancer, pick up the sniper, give it a go. Getting a sniper straight off the back, or did he go? Another cutscene. I do like the community made cutscenes. They're always questionable, but awesome. Looks so like we've got some drones ahead of us. Uh, that's like the original, like, how the game told you there was an objective. Oh, uh, dude. Too used to playing Ultimate Edition, trying to snipe in any of the old games. Sometimes the sensitivity gets the best of you. This is slightly loud, let me quickly turn it down. Oh no, this guy took a, took a sniper. What? There you go. Can't survive the pistol though, so what else do we need to do? Find the fusion reactor core. Okay, I think this is it. I think this is it. Find the switch and move the fusion reactor core down the ground floor. Okay. Those funky ways of telling you how to do the objective. Look at this, look. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Looks like we've got to go downstairs, I believe. Slightly weird, but you know, it's different. I like, I, like, I like different. I think you guys will probably like different as well. There's people upstairs. Do they just spawn up there when I came downstairs? There you go. Actives prevail always on Gears 1. Whether it's a mod, whatever's happening. There you go. I like how I can remind myself where the objective is by simply just zooming in, giving it the zoom style. Right, we're moving that fusion reactor core very, very quickly. Hopefully, it goes bang for us. It makes a big explosion. <laughs> it's literally this whole... I feel like this mod's going to be all about the zooming in. Oh, what? What? I just got spawn killed. Come on, what? That was crazy, man. He just spawned there with gnashes. I have to do this again. They literally just opened the door and they were like, hello, goodbye. And I was gone, I was finished. So I need to look out for that when I open the door again. Right, I feel like we need to kill all of the enemies. This guy wants to stop moving, please. Oh, what? That didn't kill him. Didn't even hit him, I don't think. Oh, he survived an active. Obviously, it's in the, the foot. What? He survived... Here you go. Oh, I think we need to go downstairs. Yes. I was going completely the wrong way. I forgot what the mission objective was. Is this the way? No, here's some ammo. Take it though. You always want to take... Oh, we got some more ammo. What is this? We found the gold mine. Free ammo. I'm literally going around in a circle. Where do I go? Okay, we literally just went through there. What am I doing? Do you go through this door then? What's going on? Like, I swear this is where them guys killed me. Getting slightly confused. What is happening? Okay, it's over there. Where's the two Nasha guys gone? Like, did they not want to own me again? Yeah, I feel like there's some enemies on this other side. I see you. I see you. 
Oh, I'm missing the active, man. Come on. Oh, you can't take cover on the wall. Always shoot him in the body on Gears of War 1 because for some reason the helmet actually like stops a headshot kill, like stops the headshot kill completely, even if you active it. So I usually just like shoot him in the body, by like, the top half of the body anyway. Oh, how do we get there? Oh, I literally thought that was like looking down to the floor. So we're going to take another elevator, we're going down again, going down again. Got some wretches in the facility. Oh, what? Look at that. I can't even. Yo, they're gonna be waiting for me. I'm gonna get spawn killed. Oh, no. Throw the nade. Yeah, I was supposed to get my shotgun out there, but it didn't work. It didn't happen. Don't like these wretches. Some close combat kill, let's go! Ooh, no, no, no. I don't even know, like, what difficulty we're playing on. This wretch is still screaming in agony. Oh, this guy just took an active. Ego. Look at that, look how strong they are, man. Has this got, like, a, a custom difficulty setting? Like, going on. Oh, look at that, see? Nice. Try to shoot him in the head with an active. Oh, I missed. Just take it with a helmet. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on? I'm gonna say, I swear this was supposed to be the button. Okay, I think we're getting closer. We're making some progress. Okay, I think that, that, that is the fusion core, I believe. Come on, Locust Drones, don't do it to me, please. Some learning Marcus out here. Oh no! Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Here you go. Oh, we got a boomer over there. No, I'm gonna shoot you now. <laughs> so, you gonna take out the boomer while he's just standing over there chilling with the active sniper. Oh, did I just shoot him in the head? Again. There you go. Boomer down. He would probably be really annoying later. So we might as well get rid of him now. Let's do this. Is that all the enemies? Okay, everyone's gone. Move the reactor core into the central area. What's going on? I'm pressing the button. Insert the reactor core into the cylinder core. What? Gonna press a, because I'm just gonna keep pressing buttons. Right, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Okay, there you go. It's working. Open the bulkhead doors to the central hallway. We've got, we've got to do a lot of objectives. What? This is definitely getting technical. Okay, there's a turbo here. I take it. Should give me some ammo as well. Okay, it didn't give me any ammo for the the turbo. We're so lucky we have this Y button. Wait, what is this? Why is it? I was going to say it was pointing at the hammer burst. I was going to be like, I don't want it. Do I have to have it? Like, if we didn't have the Y button, this would this would probably be a slightly painful trying to know what's going to happen or where to go. Okay, do we have to press this again? Wait, I'm getting well confused. Marcus, you're spinning me out, man. What's going on? Okay, that is not a button. I'm probably just going to go over here. No, that's not a button either. Oh, wait. Oh, no. No, calm down. I was supposed to be on the lift. Oh, no. Did I just screw up the game? Oh, wait. What? What? Wait, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, here you go. Okay, that was really weird. I, I thought I nearly broke the mod itself. Like I said, this is definitely a lot more technical than what Marcus Phoenix is used to, you know. You've got to use your brain slightly. Usually it's just like running gun style all the time. You've got a load of buttons to press, man. Up and down. 
different floors. There you go. Is that the final objective? Probably not. Go objective. Go through the door to the next section and lower the next cylinder. Really? Constant, constant cylinder work. Okay, so where's the door? Is it over here? I, I would assume. I'm gonna probably stick with the tour boat for now. I haven't used it, so we'll give it a go. Oh no, I hear some enemies. I don't want to let you walk into shotguns again. Here you go. Like, big props nice. to whoever designed this mod. Like, this is actually really technical, right? Like, the amount of thinking that would have had to gone into this to make it work. And actually have it work as well. Like, like one thing, there's like one thing of designing a map, and then there's like a second thing of like, actually getting it to work the way you want it to. But, like, whoever made this mod in like 2008, 2009, I think everybody applauds you. Right, taken out a few enemies. Before we go down in the lift, here we go. Definitely a different scenery as well, you know. Not in the locust hollows or anything like that. But it looks like we're in like a big scientific sort of facility. Need some turbo ammo, please. And the cylinder keeps moving. Keep going. You can't skip the objective little cutscenes, I don't think. Right, I think I'm gonna pick up this hammer burst, give it a go. Nice! Grab the ammo. The button is over here. I love I'm loving this Y button right now, it's helping me out so much. Oh dude, I hear a boomer. I hear a boomer, dude. I hear a boomer, dude. Oh, he's shooting me. I'm gonna end your life. Don't try to end mine, please, boomer, please. Oh, dodging them boom shots like it's dodgeball. Got some glitch cover right there. Come oh, on, this boomer should be nearly so close to dying. There you go. Effective and efficient. That's why I do like the hammer burst. Sweet. Especially nice. the rapid fire hammer burst in the other games. Turn on the reactor chain. Okay, I'm ready. Is this the final objective, please? We've been moving this cylinder over and over again. I hear locusts coming in. Please don't kill me. Here they come for the flank. No, no, there you go. There you go. Job done. Just press the easy Y button to tell you how to do the next part of the mission. Going to turn it on the reactor, I believe. Oh, oh, oh! No, no, no! I didn't even see a guy there. I didn't even see a guy there. What? Excuse me, please turn it on. Back in your hole. We're back in your hole. I f I, we are pretty much in like a huge hole. There you go. Turn on the reactor chain. It is done. Open the ceiling bay doors. We've still got more to do. I like it. Okay, we need to go back up there. Probably through here. Probably got some enemies coming as well. There you go. I do like the set pieces where... When you do certain things in the mission, it activates other parts of the game. I literally have no idea how people make these mods though, like crazy. Yo. This guy has got like active, always active on. Using the Gears 1 tactic. You can actually do this on the Ultimate Edition as well. Whoa, dude. Getting flanked, man. Getting set up. It's a trap. You can actually like look over cover in a certain way, and as long as he like reticles red like that, when you're you're like on the enemy, you can actually still like damage him even if it's like through a wall, through cover. See so if it's white, you'll never hit him. 
Like, I think on the other Gears of War games, like Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, you could even kill people when it's white, but for some reason on Gears of War Ultimate Edition, it always shows red when it's like a perfect shot. Okay, which way do we have to go, game? Do we have to press this button? I swear we just tried it. Okay, there you go. I didn't even give it a go, my bad. The ceiling is opening. Signal the exit chopper to take you out of here. Awesome. Sorry about that. Still got a cold though. Right, how do we get out of here? I would assume we have to go this way. Are you guys ready for the ending cutscene though? How good is it gonna be? Is it gonna be as good as the intro? I got it. I assume we need to pick up a sniper here, that's why it's here for us. Pick out these enemies trying to kill us. See you later. We might as well take them out before we go up there on the ladder. No! Wait, can I shoot through the wall? Ah, uh, I swear you can shoot through the wall. See, as you can see, if it doesn't show red, it won't, it won't damage him at all. The rest of Corn Gears of War 1 and Ultimate Edition always has to be red, or it won't damage him, it just won't even do anything, it won't register as a shot. Just to let you guys know if you didn't know. See, as you can see, even though that's a weird angle, you know, I basically just shot through that fencing right there. Oh, okay, that was weird. Didn't work that time. Oh, uh, what? Okay, we're getting proven wrong. I don't know what's going on. There you go. Quickly get up this ladder. I'm gonna try and signal. Why is that stair? Wait, actually, that might be a different route. Okay, I think you can go from that point up here through the stairs. Looks like we've got a bit of platforming going down. Platform Gears of War's turned into a platformer. Active galore. Here you go. Gears of War 1, you can always, always rely on the active. Look at that. Pop shot, baby. Wait, is, it, is, this, is this the button? Here you go. Signal the exit chopper to take you out of here. Is he coming? Uh, reach the exit chopper and get the hell out of here. Okay, we're going, we're going. Look at that animation though. The, it doesn't even need to spin to get it going. <laughs> That's a bit funny. Look at that. Get to the chopper! Terminator style, let's go! Oh no, there's a guy here. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I thought you was the driver. Oh, okay. That was a quick, instant finish. So I hope you guys have enjoyed another Gears of War PC mod showcase video. This was a community mod known as Underground, as you saw, taking over that facility right there, defeating the Locust Horde, and getting the generator back online so we can escape on the chopper and get away to safety. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks for watching, and as always, I shall see you in the next one. Enjoy the credits, by the way. Interesting. Come and get it.